What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Mo and this is my channel Mo Nation. So y'all should already know the intro by now. But in this video, what we're gonna be doing is working on another Pontiac G8 GT. So um, on this one, we're gonna be doing a, another one step correction and then we're gonna do a one year coating. So the one year coat is something that I just kind of threw in because it's been sitting on the shelf. Now, this vehicle, the paint was in pretty bad shape. Because of the color, I could not capture like how bad the swirls and stuff was. So y'all just bear with me. But as in the beginning, as y'all can see, the paint was rough. It was really, really rough. And I really wasn't sure what was going on with it. Um, at first I thought it was overspray, but I honestly, I don't know if there's a such thing as rust overspray or whatever. I don't, I don't know. So comment down below, let me know. But y'all gonna see later in the video why I'm saying that. Now, the car has been repainted. The hood, the front bumper, and I think it was the passenger side fender or the driver's side, one of the two, has been repainted. Um, I couldn't pick it up on camera good, but the hood, the bumper, and that fender had really bad holograms in the paint. So, we had to get all that off. But, this specific vehicle made me rethink my whole prepping process. The whole thing, I changed it up since then. Now, Comment down below, let me know, how long does it take for you to prep a vehicle for like a uh, wash and wax or just a correction and coating? How long does it take for you to prep that vehicle? And what is your process? Put it in like just one word, like uh, strip wash, clay, decontaminate, chemical, whatever. Put it like that in the comments, let me know. I've changed up the whole process and y'all get to see that. Now, this first foam down is gonna be a strip wash or something new that I'm trying. So I'm using Muscle Magic, I think. Um, no, Road Warrior, I'm sorry. Road Warrior by Superior Products. And I think I'm doing about three to four ounces and about one ounce or two ounces of cherry foam. I switch it up every now and then. I just, I've been testing this for a little minute, so I'm not saying go and do this. Now, one thing I will say, my initial thought process when I heard about this car, when I saw it in person was, Maybe it's tree sap. It's been sitting for two years um, and it's picked up a lot of debris. And then around that time that I did this vehicle, there was a lot of, you know, a lot of cars with sap on it, my, including my car had sap on it. And most of the time when I went to a client car and had sap on it or something like that, it washed, it came off with just washing. So I, my first initial thought was strip wash, hand wash, and it, it should come off. But that was not the case as y'all gonna see later in the video. Now, one thing I will say about the pump, after I finished the hand wash, I started doing my iron decon. Um, and I, I, one thing I, I had to tell myself is I gotta get the pump sprayer for the iron decon. I have to, because I was using that double, it's a double trigger uh, sprayer and it works great, but not for something like this. Um, so my my hand, you, you may be able to tell in the video, but my hand was starting to get tired from using that double, that, that spray gun. So. Um, I did purchase a pump sprayer for my iron decon um, after this video. So um, what I'm using is Purple Prep by Superior Products. And what I want you to comment down, let me know what iron removal you use. If you use different iron removals, did you notice a difference in those iron removals? Let me know. So as y'all can see, the iron removal reacted with the whole car. It was, this car is probably the worst I've ever seen. Um, this is worse than like overspray cars. I, I, like I've never seen it like where it reacted with the whole car this bad. So I let it dwell for some couple of minutes. I had I just let it dwell, and what I was doing, I would go around kind of spraying a little bit of water so it wouldn't dry up because I am washing in direct sunlight, and I don't remember what the temperature was that day to be honest with you, but. I was letting the iron removal do its job and I actually rinsed it off and I actually sprayed some more on there just to let that dwell on it even more before I started doing the clay bar. So 
so far, my process when I'm prepping the vehicle is strip wash, hand wash, chemical decon, and then now clay bar. Now, this vehicle has taught me so many different lessons that I've switched it up quite a bit after this car. So the first lesson I learned with this is that you saw me, I'm gonna use a regular clay bar, which I normally use if I'm doing a correction of coating because it just, to me, works better and it's a little bit more heavy duty than a clay mint or clay towel, uh, in my opinion. Um, but you're gonna see me switch to a clay towel because I was just trying to figure out what was gonna work the best and more efficiently. And unfortunately, it was a clay bar. Now, I hate using a clay bar because I'm always dropping it. That's the thing with the clay bar. With a clay towel, clay mint, clay sponge, or whatever, if I drop it, I can rinse it off. If you drop the clay bar, it ain't good no more. So. That was the only issue with that. Now, I also go back and forth on whether to, whether to use a dedicated clay lube or to use um, the foam, the soap or foam that I'm using. I go back and forth on that. So, um, one thing that I learned is basically I need different grades of clay because I just have one dedicated that I have. And, you know, when I'm finished with that one, I buy the same one. And another thing that I learned is basically um, what I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna wash it, do the chemical decon, rinse it off, and pull it in the garage from now on, dry it off a little bit, and then that, and then start clay barring from there. Um, and the reason why I'm gonna start doing that is because once it's dried off, I can actually feel where I need to concentrate a little bit, a little bit more because I was clay barring, I clay barred the whole vehicle, and when I brought it inside, um, after it dried off, the places where it felt smooth, it was still rough. And I had to do a lot more clay bar um, till the next day almost. I had to do a lot more clay bar um, until I was satisfied with what I was getting. So the chemicals I used was Road Warrior for the strip wash, Cherry Foam for, for foaming it down, uh, Purple Prep for the R&D kind, and that's all by Superior Products. Um, as y'all see, I'm trying to capture the condition of the paint. The paint was in really, really bad condition. My camera does not do it any type of justice of how bad the paint was. It actually makes it look better on camera than what it did in person. And I wish I could get the owner to be like, y'all don't understand how bad it was and how much uh, different, how much of a, just a miracle I did on this G8. Um, the hood, the bumper, the fender all had holograms. Um, it was, the top was all faded out. That's normal for a G8, that happens. And then the rest of it was just covered in swirls. Now, I'm, re I'm recording with a GoPro Hero 8 or 9 or something like that. The quality is all right, but it won't capture everything. Eventually, I do want to upgrade to a better camera so I can give y'all better videos and stuff. But right now, I'm working with what I can afford and with what I got at the moment. Unless one of y'all want to donate a good camera. But as of right now, um, I'm working with what I got. So, um, make sure y'all stay tuned. Like I said, the second part of this video is going to be the actual correcting, um, one step, you know, I'm a, and I'm gonna tell y'all what polishes and stuff I'm using, um, the coating, the result, and I'm also going to be doing some wet setting as well. So, um, hopefully once I start doing, I start editing those videos, you can see a better, um, realistic of how bad the paint was. Now, what I want y'all to do, comment down below, let me know what is the worst car you ever had to prep and why? Did it have a lot of overspray? Uh, did it have a lot of, um, I don't know, whatever. Comment down below, let me know. Remember, tell me that in the comments. But make sure y'all stay tuned for the next video. Thank you for watching. I hope you have, I had a great day and I'll see y'all in the next one.